Hello and welcome to the channel, I'm Raspberry and I'm Ripple and today we're reviewing Link's Awakening on Nintendo Switch. So let's get our trifles on and roll the intro. <laughs> Right, let's go straight into it. The Legend of Zelda Link's Awakening. It was published by Nintendo and developed by Grezzo. Uh, it was released on the September the 20th, 2019. And at current time of filming, it is 39.99 in Cubby's PC World. Yeah, and it's actually, for you oldens out there, it's actually a remake of the original Game Boy um, Link's Awakening which is the very first Legend of Zelda game I ever played. And that was in 1993. For it was. A show, that shows you how old I am. Old Git. Yeah, the old, the oldest. <laughs> and um, I've got to be honest with you, they did a good job with this game, um, capturing how you imagined it in your head as a child. I don't know if that makes sense to anyone. Uh, uh, the imagination of the original game expanded in your memory, is that what you're trying to say? Yeah, sort of like, as you look back to playing it, like as you think back in your head when I was a child, it's sort of how you remember it, but obviously it wasn't, because Game Boy didn't even have colour, it was just like yeah, sort of black and white, and greenish, well, yeah, green. greeny, yellowish, yeah. wasn't it? Yeah. But yeah, anyway, um, it's pretty faithful remake to be honest I think they've only changed one or two bits of dialogue apart from that I mean um, and the dungeon maker it's pretty much yeah it's an exact remake of the Game Boy original so if you've played that you'll know exactly what to expect from this um, obviously it looks a lot prettier um, it's it's beautiful to look at this game, and um, out of the Zelda games, I've got to admit, um, Link's Awakening is one of the weirdest. Um, it's up there with Majora's Mask, maybe even weirder than Majora's Mask, I don't know. Uh, I'm not going to go tit for tat on that one, but um, yeah. Like I said, I, I haven't played it. Um, you won't play it. Uh, <laughs> it. Zelda's not my type of game, to be honest. Uh, so, But looking... At the circle and looking within the circle, the actual visuals and, and the, the graphics, I, I think it's really nice. I think they, they complement it. Don't get me wrong, um, there's this blur effect that they add on the game and it does slow it down in instances. It, it can cause a bit of slowdown. It does seem like the Switch struggles sometimes. I'm not saying it's all the time through the game. So that's just something to bear in mind. I did, I did find that. Oh, right, okay. That's but it wasn't nothing that... Um, you know, stop my enjoyment of the game. Overall, I thought it was a beautiful game to look at and play. Is, I it, mean, is it all free roam like you're seeing now, or is there side scrolling that you do within? The yeah, game? actually, it's apart from. I mean, I could be wrong on this because I'm pretty sure that I've played most Zeldas, but not all of them. But apart from Zelda 2, I believe that this is the only um, Legend of Zelda game. That has got side scrolling in it, which is oh, um, just... yeah, it's actually got like 2D platform bits, which is why it's really weird. This Zelda game, and as you can see, it's actually got characters from other Nintendo games, yeah, uh, lots of cameos from uh, 
other Nintendo games in this. I think it's good. I mean, I don't want to say too much regarding the plot, but there's there's reasons for that. I mean, well, I say I don't want to say too much regarding the plot. It's bloody really old, this game, so... Yeah. D does it follow the same line, if you can remember? Like, so... Well, I never finished the original. Oh, I was only young. But I did finish this, so I was really happy that they re-released it. It gave me that incentive to incentive, go back. Yeah, to get it and... Well... To it, not go back, but you know, it gave me that incentive to actually push forward, and now that I'm older, to finish it. Yeah, I suppose obviously. Because going back to the old one, like to the Game Boy, I just, you know, it's some people are into that. It's, it's not me. No, no, it's you... not me. I, I like colouring my game. Yeah, and I like to be able to see what I'm playing. I've got to agree with you there. <laughs> to be honest, if you go back and obviously, I don't that's... mind Mega Drive, SNES, you know. Yeah. But uh, Game Boy, I mean, they were good for what they were at the time. Oh, it was fantastic for what they were at the time. But as you move yeah. forward... The technology changes and obviously yeah. you've got to keep, keep up with it. Yeah, I mean, it's like NES as well. I'm not too keen on NES either, you know. There wasn't too much graphic fidelity in it. Uh, some games last, you know. But yeah, so it was really good that I got the chance to actually play through this. And um, finish it. So yeah, was it, was the buttons okay. There was no problems with responsiveness or anything like that. Or no, no. The In other... fact, the button setup was really nice. It had a really um, where it was on the triggers. Block was on the triggers, I believe. I mean, yeah. it was a while since I've done this video. We put another video out. Yeah, yeah. It. But I believe that block was on the uh, left trigger. So it had a bit of back and forth to it. I mean, like you swung. Swung his sword and then blocked, you know. It was, it, yeah, I found it controlled it fine. To be honest with you, like I said, it, it does look... It, if there was a Zelda game that I, I would pick up, this one does take my attention a bit more than the others. If, if And do you know what? It may not look like the um, overworld is big, but there's so, there's so much density to it. There's so much to do in this game. Um, fair enough, it's not a long game. You could probably do everything there is to do in 25 hours if you if you knew exactly what you were doing. 30 maybe, um, if you're a bit slower like me. Um, but there's so much to do and, it, and to see in it. Um, yeah, it's, it's just a joy to play the game. Um, the only downside I've got to it is that it can... You, there is bits where you can really see how advanced it was for its time but there's also bits where where gaming's moved on where that, they tried to keep it the same and... no no um that maybe this is just me but there's bits that they just throw you in and there's no explanation at all for what you're doing and they just expect you to work things out and to me that's back in the old days that was kind of acceptable sort of thing but for now I think that I think that that's a sign of its age for me I mean some people may disagree but I mean I don't think there's no need for that especially in this if they're day trying and to age. get the younger the younger generation playing it as well maybe yeah they're trying to adapt to, to that for the younger generation and... like um, a couple of the later temples have got um, like things that you have to do in them yeah. Um, but when you first start them, they don't they give don't you any you hint, any, any hint at all what you've got to do. I mean, you've been around that temple for ages but, uh, without yeah. knowing what you've got to do. Sometimes um, that is frustrating, even on the game for me. But I'm like, I'm yeah, and that it's not anything you've done in the game before then. And there isn't oh, even, okay. it doesn't even come up a hint or anything. I mean, to me, that's a very old fashioned way of doing it. In the old days, that was how it was in the old days yeah. of gaming. These days, you sort of build up to yeah. that. You do things during the game and there's other and ways they, around then it. Then they expand on to that little bit you've done before yeah. to do something else. You yeah. know, like I say, that's a, that's a negative for me. Um, maybe it wouldn't be for everyone. Yeah. I know that some people enjoy that sort of thing. Enjoy that. Yeah, obviously trying to work out and spend Yeah, your we, Don't <laughs> get me wrong, I love working stuff out. If if it's logical, if it's something I've not done, 
I don't know if I'm explaining it right, but that's just how it seems to me anyway. But anyway, it wasn't nothing too bad. I got a little bit of rage, you know, and then looked it up. <laughs> yeah. Did it. Sometimes that's the best. And way I'd to rather wouldn't that. have looked it up. That's all I'm saying. Sort yeah. Of thing. But got... there's no way in hell that I would have worked it out. Let's put it like that. that. Not even if you spent like, enough time in the. Maybe by a fluke, to be honest. Oh, right. Okay. Yeah, maybe by a fluke. Um. Well, actually, saying that the second dungeon, I did work that out by a fluke. Oh, did you? Yeah, I didn't look that up. There was only the the, the temp, the eagle temple. If people know about the Eagle Temple, they'll know what I'm talking about, yeah. Yeah. Um, but yeah, apart from that, I mean, I really enjoyed the game. It was great. Amazing. Um, even the dungeon crater, which you can see right now, even though it's quite limited in scope, and I do believe that they're testing the waters with this for some kind of Mario Maker type thing um, with Zelda, um, you could only use certain um, rooms and stuff from temples that you've done. And sort of mishmash them together um, but yeah I quite enjoyed it it was fun the uh, dungeon maker in fact I've not actually 100% um, of the game so there's still uh, tablets and stuff that I need to get for the for this um, but yeah it was good I enjoyed it it was really good and going back to play it again would you, would you, would you... oh definitely yeah because it's um, like I say 20-25 hours you could probably get through it um, that's 100% and I'm sure. Is that 100% of them? Well, once you know what you're doing. So, yeah. But I'll give my final thoughts on the game. So, um, basically, it's, it's Zelda at the end of the day. If, if you like Zelda, if you love Zelda, you know, you know what you're getting here. It's easily one of the better Zelda titles. Um, you know, probably up, up in the top easily top three for some people probably in my top five um but yeah it's great i would give it eight out of ten yeah eight out of ten i think um i can't give it higher because of it shows this age a bit and because of um just some of the the technical difficulties even though it wasn't too bad um they 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 was there, so basically. Oh, okay. That's, that's you know. But so that's. I, I'm I'm gonna get my face up there, uh, and I'm gonna give it an NS for a non-starter. A non-starter. A non-starter because I didn't start it. You so. need to play a Zelda game. I do. No, nah, just bored. Leave it down in the comments, guys, if you think that Raspberry needs to play at least one Zelda game, and comment what Zelda game he needs to play. <laughs> anyway, thanks for watching. Hope you like this one. Thank it you may, very much for watching. It may be a while for the next one, but it's going to be near automata. So, so please like, share, subscribe, do whatever you want to do, and we will see you in the next one. Take care.